Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about Restream, especially if you're a beginner. Restream is an incredible platform for multi-streaming your content to various social media channels at once. Whether you're a content creator, gamer or marketer, Restream simplifies the process of reaching your audience across platform. In this video, I'll guide you through everything you need to know about Restream. First, we'll cover what Restream is and why it's so valuable. Then I'll walk you through the sign-up process step by step. After that, we'll explore the dashboard. Finally, I'll show you how to create a new stream in Restream and how to connect your Restream account with your social media accounts. Let's get started. But first of all, if you are new to Restream, let me give you a brief overview of what it actually is. Restream is a powerful platform that enables you to broadcast your live streams to multiple platforms simultaneously. If you want to stream to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, or more, Restream makes it super easy, perfect for creators and businesses looking to expand their reach without needing separate setups for each platform. Now, let's talk about why it's so valuable. Restream is great because it allows you to go live on several platforms at the exact same time without any extra complications. You can reach more people effortlessly and focus on creating content without worrying about managing separate setups. Now, let me show you how you can create a new account in Restream. To get started, head on over to Restream.io. Once you're on the home page, look for the sign up for free button and click it. You'll have two options for signing up, using your Google account or an email address. For this tutorial, let's go with Google. Once you select Google, follow the prompts to log in with your account details. After signing up, the next step is to select your plan. Restream offers various plans for different needs. For creators, Restream provides two plans, one at $19 per month for basic features and another at $49 per month for advanced functionalities. For companies, there is a plan priced at $239 per month that offers comprehensive tools to handle more extensive streaming requirements. Finally, for enterprise users, Restream provides custom pricing tailored to large scale needs. But for the purpose of this video, we'll stick with the free plan. To bypass the paid options, simply click Click the cross button at the top right of the pricing window. You'll then be directed to your account dashboard. The Restream dashboard is simple and easy to use, designed to help you manage and launch your multi-streaming sessions with ease. When you log in, you'll see your account name and email displayed at the top left corner, along with an option to invite members to your workspace. The left-hand sidebar contains key sections, home, past streams, video storage, channels, and analytics. The home section is the main page where you can create a new stream, upload videos, or record content. Simply click the new stream button to get started. The past stream section keeps a record of your previous live streams, making it easy to revisit or analyze them later. Video storage allows you to upload and manage your video content conveniently. In the channels section, you can connect and manage all your social media platforms for multi-streaming. Finally, the analytics section provides valuable insights into your streaming performance, such as viewer engagement and channel growth. At the top of the screen, you may see a prompt to upgrade your plan for more features. The Restream dashboard is super simple and easy to use. Everything you need to go live is right there, making it stress-free and quick to get started. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Now, let me walk you through step by step how you can create a new stream. To create a new stream, just click on the new stream button. Now you have four different options to choose from to create a new stream. These options are Restream Studio, Encoder RMTP, Video or Playlist, and Record Audio and Video. Each of these options offers unique capabilities. Restream Studio is a browser-based tool that allows you to manage and customize your live streams directly. Encoder RMTP is for advanced users who prefer using third-party software to stream. Video or Playlist lets you schedule and stream pre-recorded Recorded content. Record audio and video allows you to capture media for later use. Now, let's go with the first option, which is Restream Studio. Click on it and you'll be taken to Restream Studio. Allow mic cam access button. Once you provide access, click the Enter Studio button to proceed. 
Now you will be in the Restream Studio where you can customize your stream. The interface has various options. On the left, you'll find the scene controls where you can manage your layouts, switch between scenes or add new ones. At the bottom, there are controls for your mic, camera, screen sharing and additional settings to manage your stream. On the right, you'll see options for customizing your stream. This includes adding overlays, captions, QR codes, music or managing chat options to engage with your viewers. At the top, you can schedule your streams, connect additional channels or click go live to start your stream. If everything is ready, simply hit the go live button and a countdown will begin. If you wish to end your stream, just click the end stream button at the top right corner. And that's it. Restream Studio makes it super easy to create and customize your live stream. Next up, let me show you how you can connect your Restream account with your social media platforms. To do this, click on the channels option at the top right side. Now a pop-up window appears. In this window, you'll see various social media platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Each platform has a connect button next to it. Simply click on the connect button of the platform you wish to link with Restream. For example, if you want to connect YouTube, click the connect button next to it. Now you have two options to choose from. You can either connect your channel or an event. Let's go with the channel. In the next step, click the connect YouTube button and a window will appear where you need to log into your YouTube account and authorize Restream to access it. Once you complete this process, your YouTube channel will be connected to Restream and ready to use in your streams. Finally, let's discuss Restream Analytics. To access Restream Analytics, click on the Analytics tab in the left menu of your Restream account. Once you're on the Analytics page, you'll see a detailed overview of your streaming performance. At the top, you'll find key metrics like the number of streams, average duration, and total stream time. For example, you might see the number of streams and average duration displayed. Below these metrics, you can track chat messages, average viewers, and match maximum viewers for your streams. On the left side, there are additional sections for stream sessions, stream metrics, chat, and audience. Stream sessions provides insight into your latest and all past sessions. Stream metrics displays essential stats like the total number of streams, stream time, and duration. Chat gives an overview of chat engagement, including the number of messages and active chatters. Audience offers valuable details about your viewers, such as average viewers, max viewers, and total minutes watched. Restream Analytics is a powerful tool to monitor your streaming success success and adjust your strategies based on audience engagement and performance data. It's user friendly and provides all the information you need to improve your live streaming experience. And that's it for this tutorial. Today we covered what Restream is, walked you through the sign up process, choosing a plan, explored the dashboard and discussed how to create a new stream. We also learned how to connect your Restream account with social media platforms and finished an overview of Restream Analytics. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with Restream, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.